hilarious. Just so y'all know, I laughed when Jackson, I logged on here and Jackson's like, yo, so what about Clay? I'm like, what? Like, what happened? He's like, oh, he unfollowed the Warriors. I think that's comical. Um, I know you all be wanting like somebody feelings to be hurt or something. It ain't that. Ain't never going to be that. That's hilarious. Whoop. You heard what Draymond Green said. Um, that's hilarious. Uh, Clay Thompson literally unfollows the Golden State Warriors a couple of days ago. And you know, since the NBA season is over, the offseason has officially began. Some teams' offseason began like three months ago. So, I mean, <laughs> but this is some big stuff. I mean, Clay Thompson is definitely not going to stay with the Warriors. Uh, he unfollows the Warriors for a reason. Um, you know what I'm saying? Last game of the Warriors, he scored zero points. Zero against the Kings. Zero. And he did not do anything. Um, the Warriors lost to the Kings in the play in, which the Kings lost to the uh pelicans in the playing too but they lost that game and clay thompson looked like it was over for them the dynasty the you know the trinity the draymond and clay and steph was over that that dynasty is over and clay thompson talk about big time offseason moves i believe clay thompson's going to the 76ers why it's been a lot of speculation about you know i'm saying clay thompson where he's gonna go magic or where like magic what no, Clay Thompson gonna go somewhere else where he fits in perfectly. He can do his same thing and even more comfortable. Um, so let's check out this clip that uh, Joel and B said with uh, when ESPN with Paul George beside him. All right, so this is uh, whether you know this was a game before game. Um, was it game five? I believe yeah, game five. Um, before the Mavericks won their best game and then they lost the next game. But anyway, that's another topic. Uh, game five, this was uh, before it, 19 minutes before Joel B was with the ESPN cast talking about the game and everything. And Paul George was beside him. Paul George, I don't know what's with lately NBA players being on broadcast people like Stephen A and Kendrick Perkins and all that stuff. Like just being with them and he's like Josh Hart did it like T players that are still playing in the game doing this stuff like bro i know you got a podcast stop it bro you commentating on a team who is better than you and you're commentating on them stop it but anyway paul george beside him and guess what he look what he watch what he says right here great city great fans uh you know obviously they got some great players but he kind of he hurts me a lot so hopefully you know next time i'm gonna be able to get better and you know he saw. He saw. He pointed you. He looking at. He was looking at Paul George right there, bro. He's right beside Paul George. Right beside Paul George, bro. Right beside Paul George. Paul George is with the Clippers, and you know what I'm saying he left OKC Thunder to go to the Clippers. Uh, and um, the Clippers right there. I mean, they've been all right. They've been up and down. They haven't been done, doing anything. I mean, their the closest way to get to the finals was 2020. Um, but that that connection for the Clippers, they they're like the freaking. They're always under the Lakers, even if they're having a better season, bro. Even if they go further, they still are under the Lakers. Like they have, they thank God they're getting the old arena because my mind. But um, hey, that's gonna be something of the Paul George go to the Seventy Sixers. Hopefully, he can do better than James Harden, okay? James Harden went to the 76ers and didn't do jack, okay? And then he went to the Clippers and did he was doing pretty good, and the Clippers are not the best. But um, Joel Embiid needs someone else. Joel Embiid just has Tyrese. Don't forget about Tyrese Maxey now. He's a point guard that's crazy. Um, They were in the first round against the Knicks, and they forced them to— Was that the first round or the second round? I believe that's the first round. Yeah, it was first round against the Knicks, and they forced them to, like, a game six— um, they could have won that series if Joel Embiid was fully healthy. He was going through some stuff. He was going through some disease or something like that. He was blinking with one eye and crap. And um, he wasn't feeling his best playing through that. Um, you know what I'm saying? The Knicks didn't work healthy either, but they still got the way the win. But the the, the seven Sixers don't really have a lot of pieces, bro. They don't have a lot of – they have Tyrese Maxey. Um, uh, they don't really have a great bench. Uh, they had Tobias Harris, but he hasn't really been – he wasn't really consistent. Um but we 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 gonna see. But that's that's something else. It's Clay Thompson goes to the Seven Sixers. That would be a great because Paul George is a shooting guard. I can see Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey, Clay Thompson. If I would say Paul George, that's you know, and they need someone else. That's they need. I guess I don't know who that's gonna have. But that's I mean that's all right. Starting lineup, you gotta fix that up. But that's that's something for the you know Seven Sixers. 
But um, there's other, you know, you know, off-season moves that happen right now. But I'll react to that and talk about that later on. But this video is mostly about Clay Thompson. Okay, all right, Clay Thompson. As I said again, I said he followed Warriors, and um, it was a big time move for him. You know what I'm saying? He has you know, his entire career with the Warriors. He's still young. Okay, a lot of people are saying he's going to retire. Man, he's still like. And his, like, what, 10th season or something like that? He got drafted in 2012. So, that, no, actually, that was his, like, 12th season. He's, like, what Kyrie Irving is at, like, 12th season. Um, still young. I mean, come on, bro. He's not, like, LeBron or anything like that. But, um, yeah, he still has a long way to go. And uh, he has three, three, four rings. You know what I'm saying? The same as Steph Curry. But it's going to be really weird to see Klay Thompson not with the Warriors, okay? But he's definitely not going to go to Warriors, still with the Warriors. Um... The Warriors have their own problems. They still got Chris Paul on their back. Um, they still got some people on their bench that are garbage. Um, they 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 got a lot of stuff to get going. People are saying the Warriors can get another ring. No, I got LeBron James to get another ring before the Warriors, okay? I, I'm betting that, like, on, on 10 billion, like 10, 10, 10 racks. But, uh, yeah, I, I just don't see the Warriors do anything. They need some pieces, but I don't see anybody wanting to go over there. I mean, they try to do that with Chris Paul. Look like it's so funny how it is in the NBA. You get, you know, what I'm saying a free agent like Chris Paul or something like that. It looks pretty good preseason. You see them laughing and everything, happy. Uh, you know, what I'm saying first two couple games you win, next thing you know you're not even in the playoffs. I mean, you get these pieces, this money and everything, and then it's like the Suns. Oh my gosh, that's another. I will talk about them another day, maybe tomorrow or something like that. But the Suns, they have a big major problem. They they have KD, Bradley Bill, and freaking Devin Booker have the big, and they got swept by the Timberwolves in the first round. They have so much money on their hands, and they can't even get past the first round. They f fire Frank Vogel, but like, bro, I already made a video about that. Like, it makes no sense. Like, freaking Jones, the, the, the German manager Jones that used to play with LeBron James, you know what I'm saying, has like three rings with LeBron. You're dumb, bro. Like, you're just dumb. I'm not trying to go into this, that too much, because that's another video, another topic, but bro, that is such like a Bad, bad move. But we're going to see what's going to happen. The 76ers on the clock and everything. All season has officially started. It's going to be something else. You know what I'm saying? I cannot react to NBA games anymore. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I can, but that's low-key weird going back in the NBA games and react to them. That's just weird. Uh, I'll be reacting to news, all type of sports stuff. I'm waiting for NFL, okay? NBA is done. Sad cry. But NFL is right there. It's right there. I can taste it. NFL, college football. It's going to be good. Last year was pretty good for both. Hey, bro. Actually, last year, I didn't even really react to NFL games. I started re I started my re reaction videos the NFL season at the end. So, hey, the start of the season, reaction videos coming, bro. It's going to be good. But Clay Thompson, um, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you can do better, bro. You can do better somewhere else. Uh, you know, have a you know better connection. Feel better. Because that last season with the Warriors with Clay Thompson, it was not it, bro. He just felt, it just felt forced. This man got went his first time ever being benched over. He let a rookie freaking play over him. That's why I knew he was leaving, bro. Because I'm like, ain't no way Clay Thompson do that. Score six some points, score some forty some points in a first half. Let someone freaking a rookie. That's not at all that. That shoot such a high arcing shot. That's not at all that. Start over you, bro. I know starting is not everything. You know, it's about finishing. But bro, Clay Thompson, like that was crazy. Uh, Steve Kerr, that was crazy. Um, you know what I'm saying? Steve Kerr has his own problem. I mean, he, he the Warriors been trying to ride Steph Curry for the years. All, like ever since KD left, they've been trying to freaking you know Steph Curry did one year. He did that 2020 year, uh, 2022 year when they went against Celtics. Steph, Steph Curry did his thing, but um, uh, age is something else. Steph Curry is getting locked up by other guys um, against him, and uh, they got their own problems. Uh, just like the war, like the Lakers. So um, that is it for this video. Um, you're new to this channel. I'm Caleb Harris. This is NSA's Network. I react to NBA games, highlight sports, like I said. I uh, react to news. Um, big time news off season. Yes, sir. It's coming up. Uh, well, it's already here. Uh, make edits on TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube short Shorts. So we'll check that out. And until next time, it's your boy Caleb Harris, NSH Network. And I'm out of the building.